we want to multiply the given monomials. To multiply monomials, we multiply the coefficients and we multiply the variables. And if it's helpful, we can change the order of the multiplication using the commutative property. For the first example, we have 3x squared times 4x cubed. Rewriting the product using the commutative property, we can write this as 3 times 4 times x squared times x cubed. Multiplying the coefficients, 3 times 4 is 12. And now multiplying the variables, notice how the bases are the same, and therefore we add the exponents. x to the second times x to the third is equal to x raised to the power of 2 plus 3, which gives us 12 x to the fifth. If we don't recognize x squared times x cubed is equal to x to the fifth, we can expand x squared and x cubed. x squared is equal to two factors of x. x cubed is equal to three factors of x. Notice how we do have five factors of x, which gives us x to the fifth. Next we have negative four y cubed times two y which is equal to negative four times two times y cubed times y, and y is equal to y to the first. Multiplying the coefficients, negative four times two is negative eight. Multiplying the variables, y cubed times y to the first is equal to y raised to the power of three plus one, which gives us negative eight y to the fourth. Next we have negative seven z to the fifth times negative five z to the fifth, which is equal to negative seven times negative five times z to the fifth times z to the fifth. Multiplying the coefficients, negative seven times negative five is positive 35. z to the fifth times z to the fifth is equal to z raised to the power of five plus five, which is equal to 35 z to the tenth. And for the last example, we have two-thirds a b cubed times negative nine a squared b to the fifth. Multiplying the coefficients, we have two-thirds times negative nine. Multiplying the a's, we have a or a to the first times a to the second or a squared. Multiplying the b's, we have b cubed times b to the fifth. Let's simplify before multiplying the coefficients. Let's write negative nine as a fraction with the denominator of one. Notice three and negative nine share a common factor of three. Simplifying out the common factor of three, three divided by three simplifies to one. Negative nine divided by three simplifies to negative three. Multiplying the coefficients, we now just have two times negative three, which is negative six. Multiplying the a's, a to the first times a to the second is equal to a raised to the power of one plus two, which gives us a cubed, or a to the third. And then we have b to the third times b to the fifth, which is equal to b raised to the power of three plus five, which gives us b to the eighth. The product is negative six a cubed b to the eighth. I hope you found this helpful.